What's going on, y'all? I'm Preston Smiles here from Haleakala in Maui, Hawaii. Today's transmission. Transcend your emotions by creating just enough space for you to respond instead of react. And one of the things I've noticed, especially in men, but people in general, is that we are very reactive. We spend a lot of time trying to even the score and prove a point no matter what the cost is, leaving uh, metaphorical dead bodies in, in our wake. And some of you guys know, but most of you don't know, that most of my childhood I struggled with anger issues. I didn't know how to communicate like I do now. And one of the beautiful things about when you take yourself on and choose to dive deep into transformational and personal development work is that it prepares you for when shift hits the fan, right? So the other day, true story, I'm in a Barnes & Nobles in Hawaii finishing my book, Love Louder, which will be out next year. Ooh, ooh. And this guy walks in and sits down with his dog. We're all, you know, reading, writing. Everybody's really quiet. He comes in with a, um, like, Game Boy type of console, and he commences to play his game as loud as possible, right? Volume all the way up to the top. And I did what most people do. We all kind of noticed it and looked at each other and were like... So I took a couple breaths. I walked over to him and said, Brother man, do you mind turning that down? We're, some of us are trying to read and it's a little distracting. No response. He didn't even look up at me. So my story at first was that this man disrespected me, right? I, saw the, I felt the emotion come up. But I did what I'm asking you to do, which is create just enough space. I created just enough space by asking the question, how do I want to respond to this? Not how do I want to react, but how do I want to respond? And just, just enough space was created for me to step out of my anger and story because the issue is never the issue. Our interpretation of the issue is the issue. You get that? The issue is never the issue. Our interpretation of the issue is the issue. The gift is in the question. Because the moment I asked that question, there was just enough space for me to step outside of my emotions, gather myself, get my wits about me, and make a decision, make a choice, respond. That response could have been nothing. That response could have been millions of things. What I chose to do was I went and found someone who he had just spoken to, and I asked them, I said, could you tell your friend to possibly turn his thing down? Now, how it ends, it doesn't matter. He eventually did turn it down, but he never looked at me in my eyes. So the powerful thing is I could have done what my emotions would have drugged me to do. And a lot of us spend our time being drugged by our emotions. We spend our, our lives um, interpreting the things that happen to us and we are ran all over the track with them. But if you can respond, if you can have your wits about you when hell is crashing all around you, then that's a powerful place to be in. Because everything you affirm from a positive place, every time you, you say something, and I'll tell you guys this from the bottom of my heart, every video I do, everything I talk about, I get tested on. And it's going to be the same for you. When you say, you know what, I'm going after my dreams, immediately the universe is going to send a test. Do you go to the party? Or do you study? You say, you know what? I'm going to attract the man of my dreams. The universe is going to send a test. It's going to send you a guy that is not the man of your dreams. Do you date him or do you hold out? I promise you, you will be tested. But if you can create enough space in between you and your emotions, you hit the mountaintop. So today, I implore you to continue to do the work, to create just enough space, ask the question, how would I like to respond, and wait. Wait, no matter what it is, your boss, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your roommate who won't wash the dishes, whatever it is, whatever it is, just give yourself enough space so you can respond because usually when we go off the deep end with our emotions and react, it never turns out well or as well as we would like it to. You have the power. You do the work. This work is so that you are prepared for ish to happen. Not that it won't happen anymore, because it's going to happen your whole life. But if you can center yourself and make a conscious choice, 
you win. I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings from Haleakala, Hawaii. If you're new to the family, click subscribe. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, tag somebody, share this message, leave a comment. I love you guys so, so much. It is going down in a beautiful major way. Ooh, ooh. There are people who come into your life who will be there, maybe not even forever, but they'll live with you forever. There are these, uh, they're, they're like a mirror, right? Have you ever had something stuck in your teeth? And you go to a mirror and it immediately tells you the truth. You see what's in your tooth. Well, good friends are like that. Good friends are the ones who, who are walking in while everybody else is walking out.